Hello folks, today we are going to do another coin problem. Two players, player A and player B, take turns flipping an unfair coin which has probability P of landing on head. The first player to flip a head wins. So if player A starts first, what is the probability that player A would win the game. So let's go through some examples. So let's say if player A flips heads on the first flip, then immediately he wins the game. If player A flips a tail, then it will be player B's turn. Let's say player B also flips a tail, then it's back to player A's turn. And let's say if player A flips another tail, then it will be back to player B. And if player B flips ahead at this time, then player B wins. So how do we calculate the probability that player A would win the game? The way we solve this problem, it's actually by using a recursive relationship. Let X be the probability that player A wins the game. Let's draw a diagram. We start from player A flipping the coin. There's a chance or probability P that player A is going to win the game. And then there's a probability that 1 minus P that player B is going to play the game. And for player B to play the game, again, player B would have the probability of winning the game and then if player B again doesn't win now it's back to player A what we notice here is that once you pass the coin back to player A this node it's actually same as this same as this node so if we denote the probability of player A winning at this node as x, then at here, the probability that player A would win is also x. And at this node, the probability that A would win is actually going to be 0 because at this point, B has already won the game. And that here, we also know that player A has won the game with P. So how do we express the probability that player A wins? Well, basically, x, this is the x, is equal to, there's a probability P that player A wins. So here, the probability that player A win here is 1. So it will be P times 1 plus on the lower path, we have the probability 1 minus P. Well, with probability 1 minus P, there's a P probability that player A just doesn't win. So we, there's zero probability of winning from that. So that will be P times zero. Plus this way bottom path where player A doesn't win on the first round and then player B also doesn't win on his turn. And then now it's back to player A again. The trick is now we can express this again as X. So now we actually solve this equation in terms of x. So we have x equal to p plus this 0 is going to cancel out this entire term. So we have 1 minus p square x. So now let's do some algebra. x is equal to p plus 
1 minus 2p plus p square. So this is just expanding the square term times x. x equal to p plus x minus 2p x plus p square x. So these two x's cancel out. After they cancel out, we can divide it by p everywhere. You can see there's a p here, there's a p, there's a p here. So basically we have 0, 1, minus 2x plus p x. Let's move the x over to the other side. So it will be 2 minus p x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 over 2 minus p. So this formula makes sense if you think that if p is very big, like p is equal to 1, then you're basically going to have 1 over 2 minus 1, which is 1. So it makes it very easy for player 1 to win if p has a really large value. Thank you.